Right, we brought the Nefairy to with pretty much a flame ball, fireball uh, build. Pretty much focused on the fireball. It's a hidden hair build. We have the Tysus to prime and then the Nefairy to kill. And it was pretty smooth. Uh, the only real thing is that I've put us put up as many mods as I could to get as much juice from it. Also using Roar sometimes because, yeah, we need to get as much juice as possible. The Fireballs itself, they don't do a lot of damage, but if you stack, as you stack the hit, they eventually do. Also, Armor Strip is really good. Kind of required. But, yes, I lost a Conduit last, uh, last wave. Uh, yeah. Uh, the ideal is to actually. Um, how can I even say it? With the first hit, the first proc that you're gonna get from the Nefairy, you get it with uh, not the fireballs, I think. Um, if you guys know more, please uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But in order to get the Hidden Harry to work, uh, yeah, it's gonna take like both combos and stuff, and uh, the most amount of uh, damage. I'm not really sure. I, I just feel like if I get a a good first heat proc with the Nefairy, uh, not being from the fireballs because they actually uh, the damage from the weapon it splits amongst the four fireballs, uh, we're gonna be able to get a a little bit better procs and stuff it might be i might be crazy it might be just a, a an impression or something but if i'm uh, right please let me know because um yeah it's kind of kind of weird to be sure there is a, a bunch of stuff on the wiki but that's not uh, always as uh, easy to decipher for much Oh, it's not even to the cyber, just to understand. I'm not the. Yeah. Also, trying to always keep the primer. But yeah, as soon as this, the heat damage stacks up, it's pretty crazy. One fun thing that happened yesterday is that she, I put up the pole for uh, either than a fairy uh, and a bunch of other weapons. Uh, and. The Magnus was actually winning at some point, and then I thought, oh, it's gonna be the Magnus. And I started the run with the Magnus, and I completed the run with the Magnus, but then uh, it kind of changed, and the Nefairy became the one. But then, uh, before I started this one, it was pretty much tied. Yeah, and uh, the Nef Magnus Prime is already done, so... I'm um, doing the Nefairy now, and I might just lose the stacks. The important thing is not to lose the, the heat stacks. First, okay, it's already dead. But yeah. I'd recommend getting as much juice as possible. You can, like, just stand, uh, like, use the standard combo, which is the one that procs, uh, not the proc that has the fireballs. But yeah, that's up to you. You can use the fireballs entirely for it, but it might not be the best thing. Uh, yeah. Run was pretty smooth. Um, didn't have a lot of problems. You just really need to stack the heat. And it will be fine. Keep your combo up. Good is a little bit different. Don't have relentless combination this time. Really, as, as I was saying, I really wanted to get as much juice as possible. And uh, to get this done. Okay. Oh. oh no. Done. Pretty good. I just like I'm looking at the Nefairy with uh, a little bit different, like this time. It's such a good weapon, to be honest. 
course he didn't have it because something crazy. Yeah, but still pretty fun weapon. Uh, and yeah, liked it. Like it a lot. I still really, I really gotta like pay attention more to how the uh, the whole uh, hidden Herod stuff works. But yeah, I'm gonna give it a, some more read, a uh, better read on that. Let's see if I can understand better. <laughs> Just feels kind of not perfectly clear for me, but yeah. Didn't take all this time. Uh, yeah, can't even see Myth messaged me, but uh, I was AFK. Uh, try to do this as fast as possible. The timer, the precise timer would be around 3.20, because I really lost uh, an hour and something away from the PC. Revenant built. It is a little bit different. Arcane Strike for the attack speed really need this, because the, the neutral combo is kind of slow. Went with Steel Charge because I don't know if there's a better aura and I wasn't gonna use heavy attacks, so that's why I didn't went with uh, Bard Blades. Streamline, I was using the uh, Vitality I traded for Streamline because I've been using Reeve a lot to really move around because it's just so good. Natterruck, uh, I took this is like the last build I have with my Riven. The, all of the other ones that I used, I didn't have the Riven, this one I do. I am running the Riven, it's uh, pretty keeping it up, even without any uh, frame, like heavy buffing from the frame, it's really keeping up. Tysis, this is the build I have for the Heat Inherit, it has Viral and Heat, I got one that's only focused on Heat, but this one really, uh, I think it only works with the weapons that have Innate Viral. Okay, so this is the build, Riven good amount of uh, Bane and Heat. We're only really missing Heat on the, the, the Riven mod. This is the Nefari build. Pressure point, my Grenier, all the good stuff. But I do have attack speed on this one because it really needs, it's just, it feels such a slow weapon with the, the whole combo stuff. The neutral combo, pretty much. Nefari Riven. I bought this for 30 plat. Not the way it is, I give it a, these 11 rolls. I'm pretty happy with the, the roll that it is. It's just missing like a really a, a harmless negative, but it's pretty fun, I would say. Toxic Cat builds, same as always. Yeah, the fairy is very interesting. You can really see the hidden hair power there. It's pretty crazy, I like it. Right. Let me know what you think about the Neferi. Would you take it for a, a level cap? Would you take it for Steel Path? Before I end the video, I want to show you the, the the fashion frame. I actually did this fashion frame only for this, this specific mission, let's say. This level cap. I would call it a Fire Lord. I like it a lot. It's looking good. Really looking good. All of the weapons have different colors too. Pretty much copied the, the frame color. Looking pretty nice. And then a fairy, the a fairy is different. Ooh. The fairy is looking good. Kinda if you played World of Warcraft and you raided Firelands, yeah. That's the inspiration for the daggers and the frame. Yeah, thank you very much for watching. Leave it a like, consider subscribing.